Hi, it's Paul from Hench Herbivore with another full day of eating to get ripped as a vegan. Breakfast time, so lately it's been really, really, really hot in the UK. Been actually sweating just sitting around, it's been so mad. So, smoothie bowls, great way to start the day nice and cooling. Here's my favourite recipe at the minute. A couple of frozen bananas, some mixed berries. Here I've got strawberries, cherries and blackberries. Save a little bit for the topping. I've also got a passion fruit which I'm going to squeeze on top. A little bit of sesame seeds, some goji berries and some chia seeds. And very important as I'm a hard training athlete, need a little bit of extra protein in there. So Vivo Life Perform. This is an acai and blueberry, works really well. Excellent quality protein and link in the description. Give us your money. So we'll swirl a bit of chia seeds, sesame, goji's, passion fruits. Hopefully these don't sink. Boom. That looks really damn good, if I do say so myself. I shouldn't have done it with quite so much water, it's a lit, so things have sunk a little bit and it's not quite as thick, but God damn, tastes good. <laughs> this week's exciting episode of the Hench Herbivore Show is sponsored by Geek Cam. They also sent me this camera to try and some accessories. So I've been wanting this style of camera for a while, like a sports camera you can take on the bike in uh, different sort of situations where you don't want to take your normal vlogging camera. So excited to have a little look, a little test drive. Let's get inside this little bugger. Oh God. This is hard. That's what she said. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so there's a little stand comes with it. It's in this waterproof casing already. So you can obviously take it out there. Oh. Yeah. I know I'm strong enough. Okay, so there's a handy little base. So you can just pop it down somewhere to film. Oh. So there it is, the little tinker. Cool, isn't it? Some sort of a strap to strap it on somewhere or other. Another protective screen. Swizzle stick. Blankety blank, checkbook and pen. What are all these things? <laughs> <laughs> little spaceship. Waterproof housing, frame, handlebar, slash pole mount, mount, mount. Anyway, we'll give this all a go in a little bit, so we'll see what they're all doing. Oh, it's like it's Christmas. Geek cam for geeks and cool people. Oh, what the? A flotation device. Yeah, I don't know. That's what it looks like. You get a load of stuff. Ah, I know what this is. Let me take a selfie. Just all kinds of brackets and mounts and just different ways you can use the camera. It's going to be extremely versatile. I'm excited to get started. Okay, so I finally sussed out everything that you get with the camera. It's pretty good, really. You get a spare battery and the charger, obviously. Remote control, standard, and a waterproof housing. You can actually go sub-aqua with that. There's a little stand for it, or you've got a tripod, or a bicycle mount, or little um, attachments that glue onto, say, your helmet, and then you just slide it in. So that's really cool. So throughout the vlog, I'll just be trying the camera out in different circumstances, and we'll see what we think. Okay, lunchtime, I've got to fuel myself up for the gym, but I'm on a cut, so this is how I do it currently. <laughs> <laughs> Big old salad to fill me up. 
Now those leaves are quite good, but they're not mega sexy in terms of nutritional density. So I'll add in something like rocket, spinach, watercress is great as well. Today I've got rocket. The star of the show is black beans for all your protons. We'll have a bit of this. <laughs> Cook. Tomato. Red cabbage. This rather snazzy purple spring onion, which Gemma found. Good find. Hmm. Salad crust. Fresh coriander. Apple cider vinegar. Making it rain. You have a lot of it. That's good for ya. <laughs> and some nice fat so you can absorb the fat soluble vitamins that are in the greens and the, the rest of the salad. Bit of tahini. Oh yeah. Not too much. Got some dulcer, which is a seaweed, so a good way to get your iodine in. You don't need half a teaspoon a day for your iodine needs. I'm having about a teaspoon. And this one, don't stick your nose in the bottle, like it is a little fishy smelling if you do that. But other than that, if you just sprinkle it over your food or put it in a smoothie, it's just a very slight saltiness and not a sort of fish taste, so it's quite good. And a little bit of peeper. Boom! As I'm getting towards the end of my cut now, I'm cutting my calories down, so I'm wanting to fill myself up. So I've actually dropped the starches so much, not so much potato or grains. Going on to fruit actually, so more volume, more water. So instead of the potatoes I was having a couple of weeks back, I gotta want them alone instead. What are you trying to do? Trying to cut it. Trying to cut it, what do you think, man? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna cut my hand off. Oh god. The dinner is served. Uh, lunch, I mean. Get back. So, what's. <laughs> what's he doing? He's after my food. Oh, let him have some. I don't know if it's just because I'm cutting, but that is so delicious. I'll get this lot down my neck, get online, get up to date with my online nutrition and workout plans for people. Then we're off to the gym. Now off to the gym, gonna try the new camera out, see how that goes, I'm quite excited, so power on. <laughs> it's working! I'm filming you filming me. <laughs> I lost my locker key months ago. You ain't said this. I've got my glamorous assistant, Gemma. Hello. We're gonna try out the geek cam in a gym setting.
post workout on the cut, you know, you really earn your food. I'm so ravenous. So I've got boiled white potatoes. Uh, in here we've got kale, kidney beans, black beans, carrots, courgettes, asparagus, leeks, and mushrooms, and some hot sauce. Oh, it's not enough hot sauce. Oh god damn! And now it's time for a quick cat interlude, featuring Geek Cam. So I've really enjoyed using my new camera today. Real simple to operate, great picture. I've just had a lot of fun with it. Once I figured out what everything was that came with the camera, I decided to have a look into the accessory pack and I'm amazed at that as well. It's got so much for the money. I'll put a link in the description for both if you want to buy these. They, they are really good. Yeah, for a low, low fee, you get like a chest strap, a head strap. You could go on a helmet as well. Wrist strap, like I said, the what they call a extendable monopod. Selfie stick to you and me. Gemma was right, this was a flotation device. It's a, a monopod, like handle. And so basically if you're in the water, you let go of your camera, it's, it's gonna float. Um, and there's tons of adhesive um, mounts uh, and then all different accessories. And so you can make a, like arm to it to shape the camera, how, you know, point it in whatever direction you want. So, uh, yeah, can't fault it really. I had a lot of fun with that camera. Okay, it's dinner time. Most nights we tend to make baked chips, either sweet potato or white potato or a mix of both. So we're gonna knock those up as usual, but we're gonna have a Mexican bean dip, which we'll show you how to make. And we're gonna have our like vegan version of cauliflower cheese to go with it. So first of all, I'll show you my famous award-winning Mexican bean dip. Um, Gemma, how do I make it again? <laughs> what award did you win? <laughs> I've got a can of cans worth of beans. We normally use kidney and a little water to loosen all of it. Yep. Chili powder. How much chili powder? Like um, you're not cooking it. It's about a third of a teaspoon. Oh, I was thinking to put tons in. Yeah, don't put that much. What's that? Cumin. Ground cumin. <laughs> a teaspoon. <laughs> a teaspoon. Yeah. A whole one. Yeah. Bean. Mm, half a teaspoon. Ground coriander. Boom. Smoked paprika. About half a teaspoon. Boom. Oregano. A teaspoon. Oregano for my British viewers. Bit of garlic powder. About half a teaspoon. Boom. Black pepper. About a quarter teaspoon. Boom. Right, what have we got? Was it or whatever? Yeah, bring the blender and the plumbus. The plumbus. Bring that. It's the plumbus. <laughs> This is Kirsty, she might not want to be filmed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't film me! <laughs> you join us in the pantry. Yeah, the pantry. Oh, I should probably ask you how I usually do this. You usually put the plumbus in. Yeah. Put it onto one, turn yeah. it on. And what, pulse it? No, just press start. Oh. Put it on number two now. Oh. And then twist it round with the plumbus. Yeah, that's good enough. That's how I do it every day when I make this. <laughs> Go back to the other kitchen. <laughs> really got too many kitchens. I know. Too much walking. Don't lay there rubbing your cat. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll show you the cheese sauce. Uh, you need a white bean just to pick up these Tetra packs. Obviously you're not getting the BPA from the lining of cans, so healthier. So we've gone on to mostly getting these as far as possible. Boom. Other ingredients include nutritional yeast, tahini, I'm gonna use a heaped tablespoon, for, it was between two of us. Garlic, half a teaspoon, pinch of pepper, half a teaspoon of turmeric, some lovely whole grain mustard. Boom. And a good splash of water. If you've followed us for any length of time, you'll know how we do our baked chips, but just in case you're new, parchment paper, chip, chip your spuds, whack them in. About an hour, 200 degrees uh, Celsius. 
You got chips, no oil, they're delicious. And now, the, 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 the taste test. Got a chip in a Mexican dip. I've garnished it with jalapenos, oregano and chili flakes. <laughs> Cauliflower cheese. Don't mind if I do. Perfect, this is amazing. We serve this with some kale. I've got a few mushies as well. I am in heaven. If you've enjoyed this video and you feel like it may be of benefit to others, why not help grow our wonderful community by sharing it out on your social media and together we'll help inspire everybody to go vegan for victory. This is so good.